Hey, hey, party people. Thank you very much for joining me on another episode of Fifi Plays the Boogeyman. So in the last episode, we learned a little bit about our character. His name is Keith Baring, I think is his last name. And he's a detective and he's boring and very monotone and he's not very exciting. But yeah, we are in this castle having a really great trip. And we will see what happens. So, let's go exploring a little bit. Well, someone's playing the piano. Unless that's just the music of the... Whoa. Ooh. Oh, look. Kitchen. Wine cellar. Locked, locked. Storeroom. All right. Oh, what's this? Can't get even, you can't even get in there. Hmm. So that's David, that's our room. The Grundlers, can't get in. Okay. Let's see. Can we go outside? Ooh. <laughs> this is... The atmosphere just completely changed. Wow. Everything is so... It's quiet. It's too quiet. It's freaking me out. I'm going back inside. Alright, back to the music. Let's go up here. What's over here? Oh, East Hallway. Super. The plan is to tour the castle in the morning, then go around town in the afternoon. The car will be here to pick us up at 1. Oh, we're only staying here for one day? Ah, so what time does it make lunch? 12 seems good to me. All right, I'll tell the employees. Hey, sorry for barging in like this. What's up, Yuki? Oh, Mr. Baring, here's the menu for dinner tonight. Anything that needs changing? Any allergies? Uh, not for me. My wife won't eat meat. Can you change the main course? Understood. I'll tell the cook. Will she be all right with fish? Sure. And how about dessert? You have your choice of cheesecake, grass jelly, or creme brulee. What the heck is grass jelly? What kind of cheesecake is it? Rare. What? What are you talking about? Hmm. She would have liked a baked one. Make it creme brulee then. And tea for after the meal. Chamomile if you can. I'll have the same. Okay. So it is showing that he's kind of in tune to his wife's interests. Certainly, sir. <laughs> you know your wife's tastes so well. Personally, I'm so forgetful. See, <laughs> I could have figured out that that subtlety of telling us that he actually does care about his wife. But you just spelled it right out for me, so thank you, Stevie. The other day, I brought some Casablancas home for her, and she told me she hated them. Just have to remember every little detail for next time. Absolutely. Hey, what's up? Hi, Mr. Baring. Are you enjoying yourself? Take a look anywhere. I don't mind. I know, I know. It's a terribly large place. Cool. Wow, even this hall is huge. You could hold a dance here. That would be fun. Now that would be nice. Perhaps we should have brought some nice dresses for you. Hey Lance, take a picture of me and Papa, will you? Eh? Sorry, I, I don't do people. Ask a friend if you want a photo, Missy. Wait, what? <laughs> Cheapo. <laughs> Dang, Sophie, why are you so angry? I can take a picture for you. This really is quite the impressive castle. No doubt it'll draw many tourists once it's opened up. Why, I could even see it being used as a movie set. I mean, yeah. What is it, Mr. Keith? I can take a picture for Don't you. Don't play around on the stairs like that. You'll trip and fall. Oh, what the heck? She's, 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 she's a teenager. She's in high school. You don't need to talk to her like she's a kid. Oh, thanks for the concern. Not to worry, old man. I won't cause you any trouble. That'd be appreciated, young lady. Oh my god, I hate him so much. She's literally just standing on the stairs and I'm like, oh, don't stand there. Don't take up space. Piano. 
All right, sorry. What's up, Yo, Lance? detective, out of the frame. I got a job to do here, you know? What? I was behind you! I wasn't even in your line of sight. Sure are enthusiastic about your work. Don't need any pics of you. Thought I told you I'm not a gossip kind of guy. Oh. Oh, I'm in your... I'm ruining your picture. What are you going to do about it? Oh. Whoa. 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 Can you get the shot without me? Anyway, sorry. <laughs> Uh, oh, I can't even get by her? Um, Sophie. Sophie, I'd like to... No? Alright. Okay. Guess I'm leaving this place. Oh, <sighs> nice! Lost again. David and the girls. You're awful at this. It's getting a bit boring. <laughs> no, you're just too good. Your poker face especially. Yeah, it probably doesn't help that you're grinning or grimacing at every hand. Am I right or what, Helena? Oh my god. She's legit being stolen by this couple. She's gonna be the third in this couple if you're not careful. <laughs> it's really quite cute, though. Called it! She thinks David's cute. Would you like to play Keith? I'll pass. Oh, come on! Ah, uh, too bad. I have a feeling you're great at poker. Can't you do anything fun? What, are you just gonna mope around the whole time? Have some- just do something! I just can't win. Glad we're not betting any money. How about playing poker with us, honey? Nah, I'm fine. If your wife wants to play poker, can't you just take a load off and play a game with her? What am I even doing? I think I've talked to everybody. Have I gone this way? Yes, I have. Oh, what's this way? This is the kitchens and all that jazz, I think. Oh, a painting. Oh, a library! This is new, I think. Oh, can I just spend the whole trip here? I just want to spend the entirety of the five hours in this room. History. Oh, a book. Let's go read it. A thick, old-looking book. Ooh. The History of Castle Livingstone. Can't really read that. History of this begins with a tyrant. Alright, that's hurting my eyes, so if you all want to pause and read this entire thing... Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna be able to do that. A lot of history about the castle, basically. Oh, good. A history tyrant from another... Blah blah blah, conqueror, Mevik's designs, lands, natives, with their assistance, completed in 1620. The natives held in, forbidden from speaking, were made to learn another language. Wow, this sounds really familiar. If everything did not please Livingstone, he would subject the natives to hard labor, torture them, and kill them to raise his apirite. Apirite. One man was said to have been out in twain with a giant blade sewn back together and displayed as a scarecrow in the fields. A parent and child were said to have been pushed onto a bed of spikes and pierced through the hearts. Their corpses then left to rot for a month. One woman was said to have been burned alive before her husband's eyes. His cruel punishment towards the natives. He delighted in watching people despair. Uh, da, 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 suffering, blah blah blah. Whoa! Oh, what a surprise! So this is where you were. Yeah, I was reading. Sorry for wandering in here. He did tell you you could explore wherever you wanted, Keith. Oh no, no, I don't mind. Such a large study, isn't it? I used to play hide and seek in here as a kid, and my dad always told me off. It's not really that many places to hide here. So many piles of old, precious books too. Unfortunately, I don't really know how much they're worth. Is that book about the history of the castle? It literally says history of this castle. Keith, you're a detective! Why are you this stupid? Ah, you've been doing some reading. A very disturbing history, isn't it? Yeah. The former lord of the castle was quite a tyrant. He severely taxed the islanders and persecuted anyone who rebelled. So I know I've commented that the other character looks like Yuki Soma, but Keith 
from this angle, really looks like Hattori, doesn't he? Like, I wonder if there's any motivation, inspiration from Fruits Basket in these games. I just don't know, but he's very Hattori-esque. Uh, yes, there are anyway. many odd rooms in this castle, actually. I'm sure they were used for punishment. Eh, but you'll be toured to them tomorrow, so... <laughs> what kind of punishment, Brendan? Oh, You said you managed what... this place yourself. Must be hard. Probably what I just read in that book, not the fun kind. Well, only as of late. I went to film school, actually, and did some work in Hollywood. It wasn't too long ago I returned here. After my parents' death, I inherited the property, you see. Yes, it's a hard job to do alone, especially with all those strange rooms, so I thought I'd promote this place as a tourist destination. I'm not too interested in the castle myself. I'd hate to live out the rest of my days in a deserted place like this. That sounds like my ideal existence. This tour is kind of a test drive, you might say, and CV has been a great help with everything. No need to worry. I'm sure it'll be a hit soon. No, oh, I do hope you're right. Say, Mr. Baring, you're a detective, right? That's so neat! I love police dramas, and I watch Law & Order all the time! Sorry, but it's not a pretty job. Well, in the eyes of an ordinary citizen who blends into the crowd, I think it's swell. <laughs> I'm jealous. Hell, I'm jealous that you own a castle. Must attract a lot of girls. You have a wife! Maybe focus on her, rather than imagining some random stranger and all of his women. <laughs> I wish it would. I'd love to meet a wonderful woman like you have. Well, if you'll excuse me. Okay, bye. I'm gonna stay in this room forever, okay? Okay. No! Hey, what? David! You going to eat your banya cauda? Why did you force me out of the beautiful library? Oh, uh, yeah. Maybe you can have it. Why don't you want it? It's delicious. He won't eat it because he hates anchovies. Really? That's why? That's so cute. Why is everyone calling David cute? I I mean, it, it smells so raw. I mean, he is, but goddamn. And hey, don't call me cute, okay? Cool would be fine. <laughs> Jeez, Helena's laughing too? Cause it's cute, right, Shirley? Um... I'm getting a serious Rocky Horror Picture Show vibe right now. If we're talking cute, I think that would be you, Missy. <laughs> Turn off your ringer, Keith! Pardon me. You can have the rest of it. You won't be having any more? No. Fine, jeez. Gosh, Mr. Keith never smiles. What's got him in a tizzy? He's always that way. <laughs> what is he, a robot? <laughs> a robot detective? So he's robo- Ow! Don't be rude. Ah, <laughs> uh, Robocop. I remember going to see that with my wife back in college. He may be that way now, but he used to be very funny, you know. He was always making me laugh. I told him he should consider being a comedian. Really? I don't believe it. A uh, comedian or not, he's still the laughing stock of some magazines. You know about that, don't you, miss? Y'all, this isn't a roast. The only roast here is, should be the ones that you're eating in front of you, so just relax. His wife is right there. You don't need to... Why are you being so harsh? Frick. Keith, jeez, man, why don't you answer your calls? I've been trying all day. Sorry. What do you need? What do you do with the profiling info for the investigation? It's on your desk. What? It's not there. It's not. It's nowhere. It's completely and totally. <laughs> I did not hit her. I did not. It wasn't me. It's bullshit. I did not. Oh, there it is. Oh, hey, Mark. <laughs> is that what you called 20 times over? I called because you went on vacation without saying a word to me. Tell me before you hand this stuff over. I mean, why in the world would you take a vacation in a hellish time like this? And please, answer your calls. How many times do I have to tell you? I'm on vacation! Frankly, you should just clean up your desk. Hell, mine too. Papers are going to topple over. They'll start attracting flies. Why would paper attract flies? 
Keith, Keith, explain. Man, I don't wanna. You do it, Keith. If you don't have it cleaned up once I'm back, I'll burn it all. Holy crap! You need to just take that stick out of your butt, okay? Oh, there he goes again. Kick the thread in, aren't we, Keithy? Keithy? Sorry, I'll clean up. <laughs> you better. So what's the situation over there? Ah, well, you see... Ah, hey! Hey, how's it going? Having a good trip? <sighs> Hand it back to Eric. I don't need you right now. Harsh, harsh. You don't need Eric, neither, all right? Now, just hang up and enjoy your trip. At least tell me the situation over there. Situation, eh? Got no obligation to tell anyone who's not on the crime scene. Come on, dick. You gonna ignore your honey again? What, you wanna try and investigate this over the phone? Boy, what's the point of giving you a vacation anyway? I can sleep when I'm dead. I'm just saying, don't stick your neck into this. Plus, Eric's always relied on you too much. Now's the time to whip him into shape. Now, don't call again. Got it? I ain't gonna tell you nothing. Wasn't it Eric that was calling me? What? Now go to hell. Same to you. So long. <laughs> wow. Alright. Guess I'll go back to dinner. Hey, sorry about that, everyone. My wife. She left. Well, did you take some good pictures? Yeah, they're decent. You'll show us more tomorrow, yeah? Is there anywhere that's off limits? I haven't really asked Brendan about that. I'll check with him tomorrow. Hey, what are, you, what are you two doing? That one piece looks really good on you. I'm glad I bought it for you. <laughs> this one's my favorite. Since you picked it out, of course. This is weird. Is Sophie, like, five years old? I thought she was, like, graduating high school. Why is this person who's not even related to this kid and they just met her recently buying her swimsuits? This is some weird energy going on in this game. So I said I wanted to see Robocop, but my wife said she wanted to see Platoon, and we fought and fought. In the end, Robocop won, but things were a bit stormy after that. <laughs> I know how that goes. Shirley and I never want to see the same movies. A lot of the time we come to the theater together, but then go our separate ways. Huh. Well, I guess if that's how date night works for you. Uh, okay, cool. I guess I'll go back to my room now. And hopefully my wife doesn't want to leave me. Oh yeah, here it is. Keith, you took your call? Yeah. S sorry for for going back without you. I wanted to take a sh shower. Why is she acting so skittish? Is Keith abusive? Uh, uh, I'm going to bed now. Good night. Why were you crying? Why do you? You are. The dumbest person. Sit down. Uh oh. Here it comes. She's gonna leave you. I want to talk for a bit. Ooh, I feel uncomfortable. Should I leave you two alone? I don't really want to be present for this conversation. It feels like a private matter. Okay, we're doing this. I wanted to tell you this once we got back from this trip, but. It's too hard for me. We're at a very important crossroads. A kind of D-Day. D-Day? For a decision, I guess. Or a divorce. I've been thinking about it for a long time, but I couldn't say it. You want a divorce? Do you hate me? No, that's not it. No, I couldn't hate you. It's not that. It's not you. It's a problem with me. No! Helena, you stop that. He is clearly the problem here. He is neglecting you. Why do you think it's okay to blame yourself? With you? Huh? 
I'm going to bed. Well, finish this conversation when we get home. Why did you even come on this trip if you were... <laughs> Was this like giving him his final shot? This is his absolute last chance? Why would you not bring it up later then? This is really weird. You've made this trip really uncomfortable, Helena. Good night. I love you. Say something! I told you, if I can just get some juicy tidbits, sales will shoot up for you, my man. Sheesh, didn't I tell you? I can't take photos of people. You can keep your money if you want pics of that rude-ass detective. Oh, yeah, his, his girl's all right. Oh, yeah, she's a good one. Gotta wonder why she's with a snooze fest like him. <laughs> not a bad idea. Well, I'd love to see him keep his cool even when his girl's taken. Back off. I'm gonna kick your... <sighs> it's okay. It's just a game. Just have to remember that it's just a game. We're going to tour the island tomorrow, right? I can't wait. That's right, but you'd better get to bed soon so you can wake up tomorrow, yes? What are you saying, Papa? You gotta enjoy both days and nights on vacation, right? We should talk lots. Why, we already spoke with the others plenty today, and I'm sure they're all going to sleep now. Hmm, but I didn't talk to you much, Papa. Come on, let's talk. <laughs> That's my selfish little girl. Selfish? God forbid your child want to have a conversation with you. <laughs> You're a dumbass. How dare you talk to your daughter that way? Hey, Papa, was Mama a good person? Did you and Mama get along like David and Shirley? Oh, absolutely. I've never met a person finer than your mother. You're starting to remind me of her yourself, though you'd need to be a bit more mature. You'd need to be a bit more mature... for what? So I can't be childish, huh? Now, Sophie, you can be whatever you want to be. No matter what, you're a precious family to me, a true treasure, and your mother as well, of course. Okay. <laughs> Got a text from Paul. Bring back souvenirs, you ass. What's wrong? Doesn't Helena remind you of your mother? Okay, awkward segue, but sure, let's go with it. Maybe so. There's kind of that air about her now that you mention it. But what's this all of a sudden? <laughs> Shirley's thinking about Helena in bed, just saying. Never mind, I just had a thought. You don't look so good. Did something happen? Well, I've never been on a trip like this before. I don't know how I should act. It's different from traveling with friends, isn't it? Hey, just enjoy yourself. You won't have any fun worrying over everything. We'll make some great memories. What about your memories with me? We could always use more. I wonder how many more we need. Good lord! Haven't you been through this already, you two? Why don't we start now? Oh, look at the time. Better get to sleep. <laughs> oh my god. Your relationship is not the best. Hey, what about making memories? <laughs> hey, David! Stop it! I'm ticklish! <laughs> Give me a break. Like, that's gonna be a fond memory. <laughs> Good night. Enjoy yourself tomorrow. Night. And we're back with Keith. What are you doing? <laughs> What the heck was that? Was he sighing? <whistles> Sounded like a bigger bang than... 
Somebody put a stop to that asshole's calls. Did you fall asleep? Where's my phone? At the table, Keith. Okay, well, it's the middle of the night. And it's gonna get super spooky, and I heard a phone ringing, but I don't have my phone, so... I'm gonna end this episode here! Seems like the perfect time, because we're just about to go on a quest to find where that ringing was coming from. So, thank you all very much for watching this episode, and I hope you enjoyed. And I hope to see you all in the next episode. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Mwah.